to open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Surprise hand. Shake, shake, shake. You can get up to a hundred with this. Just work these muscles quite a bit. Bring air in, push air out. Bring air in, push air out, up and down. Little kids do this a lot before they can talk. It must mean something. Loose up your wrist. And let's strum the fingers. Leading with the pinky, going in, and try to at end with making a circle with your thumb. Holding the arms out if you're stronger. You can hold the arms here, this is good for a long meridian. Hands out, leading with the thumb. shoulders, relax your shoulders, and other way, just circling from here, make your shoulder blades, massage your lungs from the back, now if you can't do that, then expand your lungs, feel your shoulder blades move out, and contract the chest, shoulder blades come together. Inhale, stretch the shoulder blades out, and exhale. If you can, let's have the knuckles face each other between the legs. Look down, using the wave of the head, exhale. Inhale, look up. Twist the palms to face out. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. If you can, let's adjust shoulder blades together. Good. Uh, upper body. Uh, if you spend a lot of time at the computer, driving, reading, even people who aren't wheelchair bound can do this standing. This is called robot reset. Reset, not recess. <laughs> recess for robots. Okay, come up like Frankenstein. And thumbs up. Come in. <laughs> and look up. Shoulder blades together. Couple of breaths up here. Just a normal breath and down. Good. And again, up. Let's do it this way. In, up, out. And down one more. like goalposts. Whoa, come on. Circle it out a little bit. Well, let's, let's do some rather Tai Chi-esque uh, seated stuff. So when you make a hook, Touch the nail beds to each other, touch the thumb to the finger pads, it's like a little shape like that. Hook, and the elbow is onto the elbow, it's not back. The other hand would be a palm, so the fingers are pulling back, the fingers
fingers are equidistant and you're pushing out with this part of the hand, you're not locking the elbow, however. The elbow is down and under. So this is a yang, this is a yin, face of the earth, face is heaven, right? The fingers pointing up, pointing down and in towards yourself, up and out. Okay, so we can switch them. Look the direction of the straight hand, the straight finger on the and other side. And turn. And turn. And turn. 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 Now, if you can't, if that you can't do that range of motion. You could balance your elbows on your uh, armrest. One hand pushing, one hand hook. And switch. And switch. 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 And we're going to come with the feet a little bit. If um, you, uh, I'm not sure of the condition of, uh, everybody's probably at a different place. So for some of you that can sit on the edge, let me see if I can sit, yeah. You can hold your leg out straight and then just do little lifts. Then this muscle will tire, then do the other one. So this is good for your abs too. Yeah. Now, um, assuming you're in a wheelchair because your legs aren't working right now, we want to put thought and energy. Two of them, they might have pedals at the bottom of your wheelchair. So if you can push on one pedal and push with the opposite hand, push that pedal down. If you can't, then in your imagination, imagine pushing the pedal down. And other side, imagine pushing it down or actually literally push on a pedal. And push. So we're going opposite hand to foot here. And push. This is a little bit like walking. It's contralateral. Okay, let's do it now with lifting. We're going to lift the opposite toe. Lift the opposite toe. Flexing the foot up. Let's do same side. Same side. This, for people who know this movement, it's called Repulse the Monkey. If you can, we'll do some stuff with the ankle. So it's going to be flex, point, flex, point, side, 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 circle, 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 other foot, flex, point, flex, point, side, 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 circle, 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 circle. Good. Uh, let's see. So the turning of the waist is an essential part of Tai Chi. Um, and using the use of the arms helps you to get motivated to turn the waist. So if you've ever had a Tai Chi practice and you're now injured, you could simulate parse the main. So, well, actually, this is a really good practice in and of itself, even if you, if you don't know Tai Chi. So we're going to imagine a ball of energy here between the hands. Now, let's, this ball is just about the size of a baseball right now. If you want, you can start with a ping pong ball. 
or golf ball. And now we're going to let the ball grow to a baseball. And now the ball is getting bigger to a uh, soccer ball. To a football. To a baseball. To a Pilates ball. And now let's start deflating the ball. Slowly. Ooh, a lot of cheese going now from all the other stuff we did. Cheese is going, not cheese. Stuff in New York cheese. Okay. And let's turn the ball to rotate this ball. Actually, it has two sections. We just screwed it. <laughs> turn it. Turn it. Twist it. This reminds me of the game called Bop It. Good. Turn it. It's your ball. Your energy ball. Play with your energy ball. Ooh, where's it going? Carry it around. It's weightless. This is when they put you in another room at your assisted living facility. <laughs> when they see you doing this one. Uh, hmm. Okay, so for those of you who know, we're going to part the mane. We're going to part the wild horse's mane. So this is a movement that I like to describe. Imagine that you have a little cute furry kitten on your wrist and you're petting it. Aww. And now your fingers are going to point to the far opposite corners. Now let's combine this with press. Breathe in. And when you get to where you're holding the imaginary, mm, it's like a soccer ball. Exhale. Pet the other cute furry thing on the wrist. So this is all exhale. So now we're inhaling on the way to this trip to the opposite corners of the universe and point to them. Exhale. Ah, we'll relax and we got there to the end of infinity. And inhale, come back. You can tighten perineum if you want. If you want to add that first discipline that we had at the beginning of the workout. A work in, I like to call it. Exhale, hold the ball. Relax. And we're going to go to the other way. If you can, turn your waist and look at the top hand. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, point with the middle finger. It's the farthest one out. And inhale, come back. Exhale. Press the main right side, or left side as it appears on the video. Inhale. Tightening perineum, if you can remember all that. Exhale, point. Oh. Inhale, come back. Exhale. So you can do that as much as you want. So I'm going to conclude <coughs> our session today with a cute little hand gesture. So if you make a hook with the left hand, then you take your thumb and put it on the inside of the fourth knuckle. And then take your four fingers and put it on the outside of the fourth, fourth knuckle. You have a cool little yin-yang symbol. This is some Wudong hand jive I learned from David, David Wade, my favorite Taoist priest. <laughs> and this is a good meditation. So if, if you are, sh it's very self-contained and warming. So if you can't use your back, And you can practice your, your breathing series. Or if you can, sit on the edge and you can just put your hands here. Or 
or if you like, you can put them here. But this is very cool. To have your little yin yang symbol there. Lift the crown point, breathe lightly through the nose. And drift off into infinity, merge with the cosmos. Or think about lunch. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me.